Hey everyone, welcome to another mini video series where we are looking at 9th poet laureate in line that is Henry James Pye. He was an English poet born in London on 20th Feb 1745. He studied at Oxford at Madeleine College. His father, a Berkshire landowner, died in 1766, leaving him a legacy of debt amounting to 50,000, and the burning of his house at Great Farringdon further increased his difficulties. He was elected as member of parliament for Berkshire in 1784. He sold his parental estate and retired from parliament in 1790 to become a police magistrate for Westminster. He became determined to obtain recognition as poet even though he was destitute of poetic feeling as well as having no command of language whatsoever. He published many volumes of verse. Of all he wrote was his prose Summary of the Duties of a Justice of the Peace Out of Sessions that came out in 1808 is his most worthy of record. Then he was made poet laureate in 1790 perhaps as a reward for his faithful support of bits in the House of Commons and became the first poet laureate to receive a fixed salary of 27 pounds instead of the historic tiers of canary wine. However, the appointment was looked at as, as a ridicules and his birthday odes were a continual source of contempt. The 20th century British historian Lord Blake called by the worst poet laureate in English history with possible exception of Alfred Austin. As a prose writer, Pai was far from the contemptible. He had a fancy for the commentaries and summaries. His commentary on Shakespeare's commentators and the translation of Aristotle's poetics contains some noteworthy matter. His most elaborate poem was Epic Alfred in 1801 and he died in Pinner, Middlesex on the 11th of August 1813. So, that's it for this video. To know more about poet laureates, keep in touch. Thank you.